And, you know, offensively, you're on the same schedule, you know, that we always against the defense. Defensively, yesterday, or I'm mean, confusing my days, Friday, we went ahead and introduced Army offense once again uh, to our defense. So they spent a little time on the Western Kentucky film, and then we went straight to Army with them. Offense spent more time on the Western Kentucky um, defense. And so there, there is some changes in schedule, but you just have to take such a disciplined approach when you're playing the wishbone team. I mean, it can't be something, you gotta have a hat on the fullback. You gotta make sure you have a hat on the, the quarterback. And then, you know, they're running the triple option, and all of a sudden it's the midline where, you know, it's a totally different offensive play and scheme coming at you the same thing. Guys have to be disciplined, they have to read their keys, be at the slot arcing or the slot coming inside. That puts you in the diff this different field distribution uh, on the football field. It takes great discipline and it takes great energy because you got to rely too on those backside safeties getting all the way across that field to, to help out. Because sometimes they will get a numbers count on you no matter how hard you try to keep the numbers straight. They, when they start pulling guards and moving slots, you got to get people from the backside all the way across. And yeah, particularly playing the service academy is a little bit different challenge than you know, playing other teams. But you kind of talk about that. It is. You know, you just look at what those young men are going to do. Uh, not only are they playing Division One football. When they graduate, a lot of them get to go overseas. Uh, you know, it's a, it's one where you respect everything that West Point stands for. You respect those young men for the decision that they've made uh, of what they're going to do with their careers, you know, post graduation. Uh, and it's one where you want to go in and compete, and be the very best, and and play a, a classy, hard football game because that's what they're going to give you. They do it every time. You know, last year when we, we beat them at the end of the game and we're playing the, the Rice School song, and all of a sudden you hear somebody holler attention and you turn around and hear all the cadets standing at attention honoring your school song. I mean, that'll give you goosebumps and make you really proud of what they represent probably in America. Tyler? Tyler? <laughs>